Will was an avid flyer. He wanted to get where he was going as quick as he could. But due to how that worked out for him, I'm a little skeptical of planes. I've always been a more wheels on the ground kind of guy and graduated from bicycles and horses to motorcycles. 20 years ago, I bought my first street motorcycle in Reno and rode the coast of California. So I figured this may just be a pretty fortuitous opportunity to do it again. Tonight is the kickoff of a 24 state, 84 day cross country motorcycle tour that Steve will embark on starting on August 28th. Yes, imagine. And the motorcycle is ready to go. I got all my clothes here. I got my guitar there. I got my gear here. Extra shoes. My typewriter. And over there, I got my hammock and my rain gear. And of course, coffee. And that's all I need. Now, the first leg of the trip was to be from Florida to Washington, D.C. to visit the statue of Will Rogers in the U.S. Capitol building. I like traveling by motorcycle because I'm able to see the world in a way that is just not possible with other vehicles. And although it may seem different, different is my jam. So while it's normal to travel the world using hotels and such, I prefer more abnormal methods that I'd like to see more normalized. When I visit a place, I want to connect with locals, and not through an uncomfortable introduction in a public place. I want to meet people that I'd actually like to visit with. So I connected with people who were into couch surfing. It's a community of, of individuals who, regardless of political leanings, um, career choices, education, anything, they just come together and like, hey, you know, I'm traveling. I don't have a lot of money. And even if I do, I want to stay with a, with a family. I want to stay with someone who I'm able to understand the culture, the society a little bit better for, of where I'm at. And just to like chill. I don't want to go back to a hotel where I'm alone in the room at night. I want to go somewhere where I could get some home cooked meals, where I could like see a different part of a of a city, a country, an area, and I, I love it. Um, so my girlfriend, who was living with me at the time, she she heard about it through a friend, and it just resonated with me because my parents. I mean, I just said this is what I've been doing my whole life because my parents had people from all over the world stay at their place. My father was the kind of man who always, uh, he always, we, I was, I grew up as the oldest of eight kids and we always took people in. I don't practice religion, but hospitality is my religion. It's my debt I pay to being alive is to be generous with people. And I'm happy to pay it. And I think my sister had heard of it, but she'd never used it. She said, you should look into that. Um, and when I looked into it, I was like, yeah, this, this sounds like the most awesome thing. Um, sounds like a way for the world to get past just uh, relying on money and, and the kind of systems we built up, but also get to know each other, share cultures, and just help each other out. I, I used it mostly when I was couch surfing my way across the U.S. I went from Phoenix to Florida, up to New York, and Chicago, and St. Louis. A big loop around the U.S. And um, I used couch surfing maybe 15 to 20 times. Stayed with different hosts. And uh, nights where a host, he was a piano player, played us some tunes on the piano. Um, stayed in a little uh, converted uh, shipping container home in Oklahoma. I got out of the military. I was in the Marine Corps and I knew I wanted to travel. So I wanted to build up my profile, couch surfing profile, so people would be more willing to invite a, you know, a guy um, into their home. So I just hosted people, many, 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 many people. And then I just sold all my stuff, had an RV, and started to travel. And then when I was traveling, I was inviting people to live and travel with me in my RV for three and a half years as I traveled from here to Argentina. So I had 42 couch surfers or hitchhikers, travelers in my RV live and travel with me over the three and a half years, some for a day, some for a couple of days, some for a month, some for six months. And then that's when I met her. And then... <laughs> <laughs> I think the value I receive out of it comes from getting to know someone and just learning about them, learning about other things, broadening my horizons, etc. And just the, you know, I really derive a lot of uh, 
joy from hosting people, I think, you know, and so really that, and that's enough for me. You sort of grow into the culture where the moment you open your door once to someone, you sort of feel safe and you sort of, uh, you sort of get the vibe. Plus I get to meet all kinds of very cool people. How else would I meet all these people? I wouldn't, there's no way to do that. So I'm very grateful. Nothing really bad never happened to me and people were usually very kind. When I was cycling around Southeast Asia, I would stop somewhere and the little village where they don't speak English or any other language I know, and they would just be kind. They would offer you a fruit or a drink, sometimes a beer. And they will invite you to the houses to sleep. So I don't know, like maybe I was a little bit scared before I started to travel, but once I learned that, you know, people are, are good in general. And, well, I, I guess that's it. <laughs> <laughs> it's just an example of how the world should work. Because with couch surfing, it's not like Airbnb where people will come and they just pay money and they expect a certain service and a certain level of quality. And they have a, an entitlement to that because they paid money. With couch surfing, it's a gift economy and it's about grace and it's about whatever you get, uh, you'd be glad with it and you'd be appreciative for it and you um, return kindness, you know, and I've stayed in some really uh, different places, but I'm open enough to sleep wherever I need to sleep, but I've never been uh, slept in a place that's been uncomfortable or um, bad by my accounts, but you know, I have a uh, low expectations in those regards.